am I teasing? You're live. Oh, you're live. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she literally unmuted Anna's un teeth bag. You have to tell her now. Rachel literally <laughs> unmuted Anna. Do, do, do. She said, do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> I just had broccoli in a salad. So you know that and gets candy stuck pecans. in there. Yes. Rachel got, uh, how many pounds of pecans did you get, Just Rachel? two pounds. That's, was that all of them? No. No, this was there's more. A, this was this was maybe like mm, two thirds. Of she the made candy pecans and brought mm. them in, and I I know I ate half my dish Listen, already. They're they're addictive. It's my like, jaws hurt. It's so good. Oh, so good. <sighs> what um, are you all doing? This is good times. Yeah. Do we look a little bright to you all? You, Do you look think good it to looks me. good? You look a little you look great pink. To me. You looks look a little, little pink. pink. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna really worry about that right now. I could edit it right now, but. Here, oh, wow. If it really bothers you, let me know. I'll do it. <laughs> look at all these friends we have. Oh. Hi, everyone. Let's look at this. Miss Barbara, Jean, Teresa, Kat, Betty, Tina, Heather, Laura, Linda, Becky, Jen, Shirley, Melissa. Wow. Am so I repeating anyone people. yet? Charlotte. Hi, everyone. <laughs> We're so excited to be here with you all tonight. Um, is everyone getting ready for tomorrow's Thanksgiving festivities? Are you oh. cooking? Are you cleaning? We I, talked about it a couple lives ago, what everyone is most looking forward yes. to for Thanksgiving, what you're looking forward to But we didn't ask eating. Hannah. We didn't know. Oh, my sister. I already know what it is. Yes, yeah. my sister-in-law and her mother make the best homemade cheese rolls. They're oh, yes. dripping with butter when you put them in your mouth. And I literally could go without everything else, but those are so good. Wow. I mean, I yeah, could I mean, probably eat the whole thing. Rach, what are you looking forward to? Every everything. Yeah. Every, everything. She's pregnant. She's gonna just eat it all. My, my plate full, and then I'll probably just put the gravy on everything. And, you know, I don't care. <laughs> Why gravy or brown gravy? It's brown turkey. Okay. Gravy. Yeah. From the turkey juices. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. See, we never had turkey growing up, so I'm it, like. What did you have, ham? My my papa didn't like turkey, so he had ham. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and he would always say that he would make this banana pudding, and come to find out yeah, after he died, Mama told us that he never made it, not once. He was a liar, but he was he good was at it. <laughs> he was joking Little about it. Papa. So adorable. <laughs> um, I, if you care, am also um, looking forward to the more cranberry sauce. <laughs> More. You know, I'm going to try it tomorrow. Are you? I am. Okay. Yes, there's going to be canned cranberry sauce tomorrow. Actually, you know what? Let me text my husband really quick because I don't have another can <gasps> of cranberry oh, sauce. Oh, I have to tell this. One of my clients was in today, and um, she's hosting Thanksgiving for the first time just due to some different things. And um, her brother uh, has been making the cranberry salad, the homemade or whatever, um, that her mother normally made and she doesn't make it and so he pre-made it because he's not going to be able to be there and took it to her mom and dad and she called her dad and was like hey you have the cranberry salad right and he's like well I did but I ate it all <gasps> he, he ate it all yeah oh, no. mom has two cans of cranberry bring one tomorrow mom one tomorrow and then we'll replenish for Saturday oh you gotta yes. have cranberries we're okay so tell her to text Mark and tell him to get some while he's there text Mark and tell him mom Wow. It's like a whole family affair. <laughs> this is something. Anyway, <laughs> we're so excited. Look at all these friends. Okay, Anna, what are we making today? An advent calendar. You want to go ahead and wrap me out? About, about my pull? No, I thought you meant your hair. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I said, Anna had her family pictures made today, and she looks gorgeous, and her hair got really long really quick. And I said, Anna, are you going to be mad if I write you out about your hair extensions? On the law today because that's what I would do to Rachel. Rachel didn't even know. She didn't even know. <laughs> Look at my face. She's like blown it's away. So well, no, okay, I was sitting here right, and Anna was eating her candy pecans, and I'm like, what is different? Like she looks fantastic, but like what? What is it? There's something. What it? Her, I, I would have never get went with hair extensions. So, her, little backstory here about was Becky alive? Nope. I'm gonna say eight, eight. Nine, ten, ten, ten years, years ago, ago when I was a whole lot less secure with myself, I had flaming red, um, like the Judd's hair, like. If they don't, if y'all don't know who the Judd's are. You know, like, Oh Beautiful Star of Bethlehem. You oh, I feel like we should break out into song. <laughs> oh, be no, I'm not going to do that to you. But anyway, <clears throat> so I had extensions in it. We had gone to Bell, Colorado for a wedding and we're sitting at this, um, what was it called? The Blue Moose. It was like a pizzeria and bar type thing. And no, it was good. We're waiting on our friends to meet us there because a whole group of us went for this wedding. She's sitting there and she looks over at the bartender and she says, 
or hair spike. And I was like, I hate you. <laughs> I was like, why so would you even say that? <laughs> well, it, it may have been influenced. Yeah. <laughs> It was a long time ago. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. No, yeah. It was awful. I was so mad at her. Anyway, so what I, what she wanted me to rat her out about, oh. this is the dowel rod that we're making our advent calendar Which with Which I did pick up. I now, said, Anna. If you guys can't, like, envision this, they're going to be hung on it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I said, Anna, bring your miter saw so we can cut it on the live. Okay. Then I'm like, she's not going to bring that miter saw. He's not going to bring it. So I got an already cut dowel rod. Which, where did you even find one that little? Two, it was in my craft closet at home. Oh. Two seconds before we go live, she's like, I forgot the miter saw. And I was like, mm -hmm. I was going to be like sawing it with a pair of scissors for you guys mm -hmm. or something. I don't know no, what No, we were going to make do. a giant <laughs> advent calendar. Just humongous. Anyway, wow. Have we missed, what, what, what have we missed here? It, it looks like nothing. Some people are just cracking up because they just get to know us deeper and deeper every single live stream. Ooh, Megan went to see Winona this summer. Ooh. Mm -hmm. One of our best friends, Madison, thinks that she's a Judd, and she does the best rendition of Oh Beautiful I Star. Did. She'll get that twang. Ah. <laughs> so good. So good. Anyway, let's get to crafting. Let's We've chatted a whole lot. We have all of our friends here. Okay, so what we are making is an advent calendar, and it's a little bit different. Um, sorry, I think I have an eyelash in my eyeball. And that's and fun. Becca, I have to tell you, Miss Terry is here. She says, hello, Becca, Anna, and Rachel. I have missed you so much. My first time on your live, I used to watch you all the time at MGM. Hi, Terry. Yes, I know your name. Yes. I'm so glad to see you on this live feed. And so I recognize exciting. your sweet Tigger profile picture. Yes. yes. Welcome. I'm glad you found yes. us. Um, Letty also says, I'm so glad I found you ladies again. Is this your first time? Because I don't remember seeing you the last couple of times. Is this your first time on this live as well? I know we love to welcome MGL, but... Anna's hair and makeup are amazing. Yes, they I are. Know. They are. Hey, ONL family. Um, this is so much fun. Speaking of ONL family, and then I swear we'll craft. I made a really fun graphic that says flock on it, and the O is part of our. Um, yeah, it's That's it's so sort of a different cool. rendition of our logo um, that I'm really excited to share it with you all. Um, I guess Friday mm -hmm. when we launch our course. And you then have access to the private Facebook group. If you purchase the course, then you'll see it in the header, the ONL Flock group. I'm so excited. And I'm thinking we may need some merch or something with that for all you OG Flockers. I think it'll be really cute. I'm kind of sad that we're not like part of the Flock, so we can't wear it. I'm part of the Flock? I mean, I guess we are. We, we don't, like, yeah. We're, we're a we Flock. Can be flock. Yeah. yeah. We're in there. We can yeah. Yeah. Just kidding, guys. Okay. Sorry. Back to crafting. <laughs> Back to crafting. We are making an advent calendar out of 3D paper boxes. And I'm going to tell you, it took me about an hour and a half to cut out all these out last night. Um, and then, which honestly really isn't that bad. But then I did all of these pom-poms. Especially if you're planning on using it every year. Like if you're one of those that likes I a like new to change mine every, every year. year. Yeah. But I mean, like if you stored these well, you could completely just refill them. So an hour and a half in the grand scheme of things. I'm going to store that though. I mean, mom would. Anyway, um, so I, I made a file for this. It will be available if you purchase the course and are in the private Facebook group. I will share it for you all. I also made some hand lettered little numbers, which I'll show you in Design Space in a little bit, um, that can be printed or cut out. So I made a PNG and SVG, super cute. And you can use them for other things, not just this. So we have a print and cut sticker um, that we put in on each one, one through 25. And then we're making pom-poms. Anna's gonna show us how to make pom-poms. We're gonna put it on here. We have a lot to do. Um, so if we don't have any questions, I am gonna jump over into design space um, as soon as my computer stops blacking out on me because it's gonna do that. And I wanna let you know, do you know what my favorite part about these, these are? What's your favorite Is that part? they're so big. You can fit a lot of treats in here. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. You can put, I mean, like, you know, most of them are like little bitty pouches where it's kind of sparse. You know, you can only put so yeah. much in there. You can really cram these full of stuff. I mean, jewelry. Like a, like a mini cupcake. Uh, oh. It, the the sky's the limit with that box. A there. lot of cash. A Some lot beef of cash. jerky. Beef jerky. Beef, uh, I would love an advent calendar. Uh, that has Mark Lim would, it. in Wayne Oaks, too, would die over a beef jerky advent it's calendar. True. I think I would love it. Leaders of the flock, Susan says. I love that. 
Um, happy dance. I started MGL because of you ladies. You're my favorites here till the end. Welcome back. Thank you, Terry. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. Um, what is wonderful news? What what did did Crystal share? That was wonderful news. I'm hoping oh, it has to do see. with her mammogram. Yes, it does. Rachel, I got my mammogram results, and it is not cancer. Oh Yay! Yay! Crystal. Incredible. Oh, this is happy, happy news. I'm super excited. What an answered prayer. That's amazing, Crystal. I'm oh, so glad. Fantastic. Okay. Um, over in Design Space, let me pull that up here. I have these little files. I think should I change the color? Of the background, can you all see that, or should I, I change I can the see them good. Okay, so I made these. Um, let me unflatten them. They are, like I said, SVG, so you can use them as cut files if you want. So I went ahead and did all the hard work for you and made um, the offsets and everything. It's amazing. Like I said, this will be available in the group once we go live. Um, and you can change the colors of these. I did them this way so that you could change the colors. So if you want more traditional colors, you can do just red and greens, or if you just wanted black, you could do black and then change the background color to maybe just white if you wanted to. Um, and then all you're going to do is flatten it. Um, if you wanted them to be big, like maybe two and a half, because these boxes are two and a half inch boxes. And if you wanted it to cover the entire front of the box, um, then you would want to flatten these individually because if you sized all of these to around two inches and then selected all of them and flattened them, uh, let me just show you really quickly what's gonna happen. Um, it's, it's not gonna work because it thinks it's one image and it will not fit in that 6.75 by 9.25 uh, size restriction in design space. So, like I said, if you want these this big, then what you'll need to do is unflatten and then flatten them individually, which is not that big of a deal, um, but just something to think about. I, however, wanted them small and in the top left corner, so I did them, they're around an inch tall, um, and then because I chose that size, I was able to select all of them at one time just by dragging and selecting like this and then pressing flatten. And the size, the finish size is 4.5 by 5.4. So super easy, right? We'll print those in just a second. But first I want to upload the file here. This is the 3D box file and it imports with a, it will make a two and a half inch box. And I, I can see that a couple of ways. Uh, one, this little portion right here, if you look here on the grid is one, 2.5 inches. Um, if sometimes when I'm sizing things, this grid is not helpful to my eye. So another way that I like to size things is by grabbing a basic shape. Say I wanted a two inch square. Well, that just happened to come in at two inches. So um, I would size this to whatever size I want. We'll leave it at two. And then just drag and kind of place it over like this until I had the size, fin the finished size box that I want. Yes, Rachel. She's raising I her hand. I have my hand raised like a student. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm ready to educate you. Is that a basic shape you just grabbed? It is. The, the it's curved edges. Too. Yes, I meant, to, I meant to point that out. Did you what? notice? Okay, so there are new basic shapes here. Look at these. And of course, this one is with, I guess, access. I am, I am shaken right now. There are now. more basic shapes. Look at the tags. Like these, honestly, if, if I didn't already have these, would be worth, because when I started learning Cricut and Design Space and not knowing how to make cut files and stuff, like this design right here was something that I wanted so bad to be a basic shape. Um, and then the tags as well, the banners, they're actually, they've really upped their game. Also, Miss Mary uh, says, is Cricut ever going to change the size of their print and cut? I hope so. Yeah, I mean, if because Silhouette is larger. Mm -hmm. yes. So I don't know why Design Space and Cricut, whatever, are why they're not getting on board. I Honestly, like if I did a lot of print and cut and kind of relied on it as an income, I would probably switch to Silhouette for that very reason or just have two machines, one that did larger print and cut. Okay, um, once you have this file size to the, to the finish size that you want, what you need to do is come over to ungroup. I'm gonna push ungroup, and then I'm going to select these lines right here. I can, I, I can select them just by pushing like I did here or selecting over here in the layers panel. But you can see right here, right now these are cut lines and I don't want that. I want these to be score lines. 
if you are new here, um, back when I first started creating cut files, there was a way to alter cut files. Basically, you were kind of coding it and, and naming things in a special way so that when it imported into Design Space, they were automatically score lines that were attached. However, I think Design Space did an update around three months ago that no longer allows that, which is frustrating. So we do have to do this step. The cut line right now, so we're gonna come up to where it says operations, press this drop down menu, and now I'm going to select score. So I'm changing it from a cut line to a score line. Anna's over here taking her <laughs> shoes off. It's distracting me. I was trying to be really quiet, quiet about it. Quiet. You were very quiet, they would never have known. She has heels on, it was very ambitious. Um, for the pictures. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, now what I need to do is attach this score line back to the basic cut. So to do that, I'm just going to select by dragging and selecting, and then going to the bottom right hand panel where it says attach, and I'll just press attach, just like that. Now, we are ready to click make it. Um, as soon as I grab my machine, hold on, let me grab the, the Cricut. Let's get these dowel rods out the way. Do you need this moved? Um, I, I do not. No, I need boxes. it. I need it right there because we'll do a print and cut first. I don't. It will probably be first. Okay, Anna's going to be my Vanna White, and click make it here. Did I go black? Dad, gum it. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. Second. And it's only poor Becca's computer. Give us a sec. We're not having technical difficulties. Just oh, there we are. Yeah, it's just I forget. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. Where did my images go? Did I delete them? Amazing. Let me click make it and just see if they show up. Uh, Terry says, Becca, would you be willing to make a box for ornaments? You could make this, you could cut a circle out of the middle of this and pop an ornament in it easy. And they can size it however. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to, now I wanna do it for you. Is that like if you're gifting a homemade yeah. ornament? That's uh -huh. a really yeah. cute idea. Uh. Yes, you could slice out, my design space isn't working well. You could slice, um, just use a basic shape to slice that out, but I could totally do that for you too. Okay. And then just go back in and put that cellophane stuff. Like yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, we are ready to go ahead and press continue. You can see our stickers are popping up here. It will be really cute. Um, Anna. Yes. Will you open the Zakoto printable vinyl? I did not go over supplies because there were so many. I figured we would just do it as we went along. Um, FYI, if you are new to Print and Cut, you can use the Explore series or the Maker series machines to create Print and Cut. Um, Anna is opening our Zakoto printable vinyl, which is a very nice glossy printable vinyl that I love. That'll be fine. Um, Zakoto also makes a matte, so if you're interested in matte, then look at that. Um, are we on the front facing camera, right? We can be whatever you want. Let's go ahead and do that. Anna's gonna load this in the back part of, hold on, let me try, let me turn this on. Okay. So when you are glossy looking, side. yeah, glossy side up. When you're looking for a printer for a print and cut, you want to find a printer that has a rear tray like this for a couple, well, only one reason really. Um, most of the printable products that we use are thicker and if they're trying to feed from a bottom tray, they will get stuck. Um, so when you're looking for a printer, I, there are so many great printers out right now that, um, that range in price. And so we get, that's one of the, the most common questions that we get. What printer do you suggest? I love Canon printers sp specifically for this. Um, we've had Canon printers in the 3000 series. We've had, um, the 8,000, the 9,000 and they range in price. But honestly, in, when we were doing comparing of print quality, right. They're pretty similar. It, it was, a $35 printer and a $250 and we printer. Were, we were thinking it was going to be a drastic difference, but it really wasn't. Right. I think thinking, mine's like a $40 or yeah. something thinking like that. Thinking of how much you pay for like the top tier printers for the quality not to be astronomically better was crazy to me. So honestly, it's like, why would you want to spend that much? Just get a good quality, cheaper printer. And again, they were all Canon that we tested like back yeah. then. And they were all really, really good quality. Yeah. Anyway, that was a little... Side note, um, so Anna, I don't know if, can you see it says okay right there. When you put, I think it says okay. Yes, it does. Okay, so we're good. Um, one thing that I do wanna also encourage you, and I'm going to put out a video maybe Saturday, 
It depends on if I can get it done Friday night, for Friday morning or not. But it's basically seven ways to improve your print and cut projects. Um, and one of them, I'm just going <laughs> to spill the beans already, is to make sure that you're selecting the correct material setting on your printer. Um, so if you didn't know, the material setting does matter because it affects how much ink is being sent out. Um, and so that really does affect things. For instance, I used just the regular printer setting, regular paper setting, which is more porous than this glossy. And when I pulled it out and put it on my mat and then rolled over it with my brayer, some of the ink transferred over because it, it puts out too much ink for what we need here. Do you think also some different papers need longer time to dry yes. with that ink? Which yes. of course, I think we were live, so we didn't have time for that. Yeah. But I, I don't know. No, I do agree. Yeah. I agree with that, yes. Okay, so now that that is registered, I'm going to press send to printer. I don't know. Let me switch back so okay. they can see what's going Fantastic. on. Fantastic. Um, I am going to leave add bleed on, which just adds a little bit of extra uh, color all the way around. So um, if our machine isn't perfectly calibrated, it gives us a little bit of wiggle room. Also, I'm going to select use system dialog box, and I'll press print. And then, oh, there we are. Then we can increase the print quality to best and feed from the rear tray, and then we can press print. And I'm gonna check comments while I do this. Um, I'll switch it back to you so they can see that printing. Did I say dad gummit? Yeah, uh, like, but you say it like you do, which is with a bit of a southern twang. It's like dad gummit. Dad gummit. Yeah, yeah, it's gummit. the best. Dad gummit. It's the best. I learned that from my father. <laughs> from Dougie. Did Dougie Old Dougie. Oh, yeah, Dougie's yeah. dad gummit fits. Dad gummit. He's thrown a, a, two, a couple. One or two. Just one or two. I think, That's like, so until funny. I was 14, that was the worst word I ever heard him say. <laughs> yeah, gum dad Listen, gummit. Listen, nothing is better than remembering your, your dad's fits as a child. Like I'll we never forget the first the time he cursed in front of us. It, it's forever. Dad. So out him. in my mind. <laughs> he doesn't. Actually, he really doesn't cuss. He doesn't. I don't know how we ended up the way that we are. Mom. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no. no. Jane's going to be mad. She is. It's not true. Ish. Ish. Okay. I have my mat here. We're going to put that in the top left-hand corner of our mat and grab our brayer because this mat, as Fallon would say, this loved thingy. This thingy. <laughs> this thingy. Look at all these little pom I switched Do to I need the to overhead let that camera and okay. these little pom-poms are the cutest things ever. Spray that on there, Anna. Does, does it have to dry? Nah, just do it. No. Becca goes, nah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Just oh my do gosh. it. I don't like a smeary mess. Oh, it wouldn't smear it. It would just transfer to the brayer. Look at the brayer now. Is it black? Oh, we're good. Oh, good. Okay. I didn't get this left corner. Uh, thank you, Mom. Mm -hmm. I had to redo it all for me just yeah. to make sure. My goodness. Okay. So now we are going to choose our material setting because you can't just load a mat. That's, that's silly. That's <laughs> <laughs> super, super silly. Uh, I am using printable, it's not on here on my favorite section. Printable vinyl. Don't get favorite that. We use we that one a lot. We love our favorites okay. too. Pressing done, and now we can load our map. Switching it back to beautiful back end, Anna. Hello, friends. Did, did you see Miss Becky's comment? I haven't seen anything. I need to look. What is Becky, Miss Becky? He son? said, may I ask you all for prayers for my family, please? I lost one of my brothers yesterday to COVID, and today my daughter and grandsons had to go to the hospital, both with high fever. We will 100% lift your family up in prayers. Absolutely. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. I absolutely hate that for you. My heart is broken for you, and I do pray for peace and comfort. And Yeah, I'm just so sorry. That's rough. Wow. Not to uh, move along because it feels it, kill, it feels kind of heavy. I know, uh, in a, yeah, but yeah. not not like in a bad way. Not in no. a bad way. Thank you for trusting yeah. us yeah. to be able yeah. to pray for you and your family. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Um, Becca, how long did this take <clears throat> you to cut when you did it? Which part? Did you do this already? Yeah. Yeah. The vinyl. Yeah. Yes. The print. The, the yes. Vinyl. Well, I I I've redid one. Okay. Because I did like did 20. Did it take a long time to cut the little letters out mm -mm. or the little numbers out? No, no. Um, but while that is cutting out, 
you all have any questions? Yeah, let have us I, know. Have I missed anything? We have a hilarious video coming out for you all tomorrow. Oh, it is good. It's it's darn good, let me tell you. It's good. Good. I don't, good. What, I don't know this. One. That. Yeah, that's coming out. I think I actually have a picture of the thing that you said on my uh, desk also and said, Anna, don't you like that? <laughs> It was yeah. a very. It was a gift from the heart, Rachel. It was. It was also a doll. It did turn out adorable, you though. You think so, Anna? Yeah, I'm I quite it, proud of you. I think it's pretty funny. Did you do it all by yourself? I did it all by myself. See, that's that's See, why you're the Becca pro. Becca has been like so incredibly good about like back turned acting like she's not here while I film because she knows I'm a nervous wreck. Um, in her head, she probably wants to help me and tell me uh, a ton of stuff, like constructively, and help me a lot. But she doesn't. And I don't. I, that's that's I don't. fine. I tune you out, Rachel. Like I Do tune my children out. out. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and I that's only hard. mean because I have so much that I'm trying to get done that I kind of have to. Otherwise, I just want to chat and I can't. Do they want to know if Fallon's in the hilarious listen, listen. video. She's not. I know Fallon set the bar extremely high. You guys are gonna. Rachel, have do you to... pull out disguise glasses like like yeah, Fallon? I should have. I should and have. do you go, oh, oh, my, gosh. oh my gosh. And then the sped up laughing for me was just absolutely precious. You but can no. tell she was super tickled with herself on that, she though. Was. She's oh like, oh, gosh. I'm going to pull one over on you guys. Okay, this thing is not auto-focusing. Nothing, nothing's in focus. Overhead or? Okay, now it's focused. You all. It's okay. been focusing weird the whole live. I could probably have saved that. We've too. been frozen on that flattering angle for a hot minute. Not over Give here. Give me one moment, friends. No, you're, you're crystal clear over here. Yeah, I guess I'm going to work some magic. Yeah. Oh, Wayne wanted to Are mention, we in focus now? Yes. Okay. Wayne wanted to mention that you also tune him out, too. He what? said, and me, too, he said. Th thanks, Wayne. That's why we're happily married after 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually the, the man tune. One of, one of them has to tune one of them out. My husband is, how old is he? 36. He is 36, and I have told him already that I'm going to make him an appointment to get his ears checked. Oh, my gosh. Anna. Because I am a very loud person, and he either chooses to ignore me or really doesn't hear me, and it's infuriating. <laughs> what, if his, what if his hearing's perfect? I think that will be even more infuriating. <laughs> oh, he better oh pray God. really and hard. And he's hoping it's they tell him, he's like, yeah, we're sorry, Mark, it's, it's deteriorating, but it's like you're, you, you can hear perfect. The Mark. funny thing is, is in high school, they call him Papaw. And so oh, it'd be hysterical yeah. if he had to go ahead and start wearing hearing aids. I don't think that's funny. Well, I'm just saying. Hey, can you go back to my computer? Because I want to show them something Absolutely. really quickly. So the, um, the cut file that we're using is right at 10 and a half inches. And I did that intentionally because I didn't want to waste a ton of material well I did it for two reasons one I wanted a two and a half inch box and then the idea of just using an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper was really nice to me um, so let me go back here really quickly because I forgot to do this <clears throat> I want to change my paper size by clicking here and then where it says material size is 12 by 12 I'm going to just push that drop down menu and select eight and a half by eleven so that it will put it on the mat this way and I don't have to worry about it. Now, I could have just placed it up here, but I don't like to think about that. Why are these numbers upside down? Is that what the mat looks getting like? getting a kick out of that, Becca. What? Oh. Hey, Mark. He said, oh, no. He said, I'm, well, listening I'm listening now. now. <laughs> Mark. Okay, now I am using the heavy cardstock setting because I am using a hundred pound cardstock for these, so I can press done. And the last thing Have that you I need one to of those do out here, no, I would use craft board. That it does not cut well. Remember, I try to cut those things out for my my. Well, not that, not that one. I, I brought it's a, a less I brought heavy a, one. Yes, I okay, brought one. Okay, that's from fine. Home. Okay, but so I, sorry. I put more pressure. Okay, um, good. And then the next thing that I need to do is install my scoring stylus here into my... I'm going to flip it back to Becca. Please do. I mean, I can't move. They can't see. Can you see? Do you want me to I hold it see. up? No. No, you can see. Barely. Waiting for the click. I never heard the click. No. Okay. I have paper right here. I've already cut one out. So we're only going to cut one out, but we'll put two together for you all. And I want to put just this in the top left hand. And I'm going to cheat up like between an eighth and a quarter of an inch 
right here because the, my cut is 10 and a half inches and this is uh, 11. And when I put it right here in the top left hand, sometimes it cut the bottom off. Oh. So I'm going to just cheat up about, an, but like I said, between an eighth and a, and a quarter of an inch. And then I'll grab my brayer here and bray this down. If you all, friends, I did not use a brayer until like the last six months because I thought it was a silly piece of equipment that they I were just trying to get you to use. One. I don't know how I've gotten through life without it. It, I don't have to tape my paper down anymore when my mats get unsticky. It's amazing. Okay. Which is great. Now we're ready to put this in here. <clears throat> And, um, and cut this out. You're okay with it, which I don't know if it's going to allow you to do it while you're cutting. But Miss Susan said, "Can you please say how you chose the paper again?" Yeah, I don't know if it'll let me. Hold on, I'll look. I don't know if it'll let you, but we we will try. We hear you, Miss Susan. If it if it won't let me right now, it, yeah, it won't let me. I'll okay. give me just a second, and I'll do it as soon as this finish finishes scoring and cutting. So if you have the maker, you can use your scoring wheel or your scoring stylus to do this um, because if I'm using a cardstock that has a white core, then I like to use my scoring wheel because the scoring stylus sometimes will remove the color and then you see that white core. Um, other than that, I like my scoring stylus. It's so easy. Super easy. I need to pull my comments up, Rach. I feel like you're so. not telling me things that they're saying. Oh. I, I'm really sorry that you feel that way. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Kat called our family out for having a conversation in a thread. <laughs> yeah. What is going oh, on? Oh, gosh. What's happening right Linda there? Linda said, I can't keep my mat sticky. What am I doing wrong? It's just your computer. Mine's there, so there's a, there's a couple things, Miss Linda. First of all, we don't really know what all you craft with. So the materials you use can play a big factor in the cleanliness of your mat. Um, also, if you don't cover it up when you're done using it, if you're constantly laying your sleeve or something on it as you're weeding or things like that, all of these can contribute to um, a non-sticky mat. Also, the brand of it. Is it a good brand mat? Um, do you clean it often? I don't know. There, there's a lot of questions. Those are all really good points, Rach. Questions for you. Okay, so back to um, how you select the, mater the material size. When Before you press continue to connect to your machine, you can click on each individual mat, and then you can see here where it says material size. Are you on the, your computer? I think, mm -hmm. yeah. So then you just press the drop-down menu and select whichever material size that you are going to be using, and then you press continue. Great question. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this for a moment. Am I switching to overhead? Sure. Okay. We don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna get it out of the way. You can unplug it too if you want, that way we're not tripping on cords. Aaliyah uh, says, I've <coughs> never broken out the scoring wheel. Who says this? Aaliyah. I know, like I, I have one, I just don't use it a lot. I do like it for craft board though. Well, the double scoring wheel. Okay, so what we are doing here, we're going to remove our mat from our cardstock so that we do not have curling with our cardstock. Anna, did you know that trick? I think you showed me that like a week ago. Did I? A week ago. A week yeah. ago. I've been curling for a couple years. Curling. And Miss Terry, she says, how do you favorite materials in design space? If you hover over the material you're selecting, there'll be a little star that's grayed out right next to that material. As soon as you click that star, it is favorited. So you can uh, then be able to see that in your favorite materials. We love favoriting materials. Great question. Yeah, it was a good question, Terry. I'm dismantling our wall over here. Okay, so to put this together, let me see. Let me move over here just a little bit and push organize you out of the way. Boxes. Yeah, organize your boxes. We're going to grab our bone folder <clears throat> and our ATG gun. And we are going to fold all of these score lines. I like to fold it down on my fingers and then just go back with the bone folder and just crease where I have folded. Now, one tip too. Let's hear Becca it, Rach. I have already given it to you and I wasn't paying attention. If so, I do apologize. If you wanted to make these with colored paper, make sure that it is not white cord. Make sure it is color cord paper. Did Becca already say this? 
Well, not I, those exact <clears throat> words. No, okay. I mean, I said basically that I didn't love to use a scoring stylus with white cord paper because um, if you do, a lot of times there the white will come off. So we're on the same page. Amazing. And I love that. It just means it's a good bit of info. Uh, good, yes. 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 Also, did anyone notice Becca got her nails done and how beautiful they are? I did. So, you know, normal people have a signature color that's like red or pink or French. And my signature color is this. My nail tech is so sick of me getting this color. She literally said, again? <laughs> again? Again. I just love it. I just love it. And I don't care. They can name it after me if they want. Okay, last fold here. <clears throat> and someone asked an incredible question that I'm Googling. Okay. Um, well, not last fold. We have these. I didn't know this, actually. Miss Mary said, how many favorites can you have? And I know you can have over 10 because I've, I've seen that we have over 10. I just wasn't sure the exact number. So you can select up to 12. So you can have a dozen favorited materials. I was going to say, you don't want too, too many because then you're, you're still weeding through things. True. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Once I you think have, the most we've had is like eight. Yeah, you know, probably. Like yeah. Sorry. Keep going. No, you're fine. Once you have everything folded and creased, you're going to grab your ATG gun or other adhesive. We like this because it's a dry adhesive. Um, so it's really quick. You can also use like a zig pen, which is uh, just wet, has a memory system in it, and it dries pretty quickly. Um, but that's the only bit of adhesive you need for this entire thing. What? That's it? Yes. So could you use hot glue if you want? Good, absolutely. Mm. So I just take this bit right here, line it up just like that. And see, the cool thing about ATG is that you can remove it if you don't get it lined up perfectly, and it's not a big deal. And then what I do is fold this piece that has the U shape on it down first, then the side piece is down, and then you fold this right in. Then you're going to put your finger right up here, or your fingers, and just push, just like that. Now we close it like a box. I'm blown I mean, away right now. Wasn't that super quick? Do you want to do one, or do you want me to do the other one? Yeah, let me try. Okay. I've never used an ATG gun either. Fantastic, this is amazing. I own one. Okay, Anna is going to fold all of these and crease it with the bone folder, and I am going did, to... Did you say which way you're supposed to fold? Just all of them in the same direction. Yep. All up towards you or all down toward the ground, whichever one. I'm going to look at comments while Anna does this. I think I prefer to fold down I feel like the it crease doesn't get... line that's facing me. Yeah. I think that's how I like... I know that's that what I'm doing. No sense, but I think that's what I prefer to do. Kat said someone needs to invent a left-handed ATG gun. You're right, Kat. I think that would be frustrating. I didn't even realize. Kat, are you a lefty? Because you, you can't lefty, see. Kat? You wouldn't be able to see. Oh, Kat, I'm so sorry. Oh. Not sorry that you're left-handed. I left -handed. feel like if you wanted to rig it, you could take that thing off and flop it and oh then, Lord. like, Gorilla Glue it Here on that go. side. I know. Mm. I don't think it would work very I'm well. I'm going to try it. I'm okay. going to try it. I'll let you know. Okay. I, because it's very... It's very finicky, like, not threading it. What do you call it? Putting the feeding, tape. Feeding the tape. Feeding through, the tape. I guess. I don't know. We're going to call it threading I'm going to figure it. that out for you. She's going to ruin her ATG gun I'll for buy you. another one. <laughs> <laughs> Down the drain. Something about watching Becca put that together was very, thank you, Megan. Mm. That is very sweet. And look at Anna's pretty nails. It screams Christmas. Yeah, someone else said they love Anna's nails. Got some Christmas I got them nails. done today as well. They were color stained prior to the visit. Also, Hair color. Since, oh, yes. Since we don't have any like super pressing um, questions, can we talk about Becca and Anna's rings? Becca's, or Anna's middle ring and Becca's one that she has on her ring finger? Because this just melts my heart just completely. Well, this is my daddy's wedding ring. Which just, come on now. Come on. And yeah. this was my father's class ring that I melted down and had diamonds from my original setting put in because we are insufferable daddy's girls. How, how, how much more precious can you get? Like, I, I think that is just amazing. Absolutely precious. Uh, the funny part is, is that I have a really nice wedding set. Oh gosh, yes. And I prefer I've, this guys, one. I have. You guys know how long I've known Becca. Are we going on like three years? Yeah, now? yeah. I've seen her wear her her wedding set two times. I've seen it twice. Every time I see it, I just gawk and stare <laughs> at it because it is absolutely stunning. And she never wears it. I totally get it. I get it. Well, and now she's wearing her daddy's, which just melts my heart. I love it. I do. Precious. 
How are you doing over there? Well, Anna? I'm doing okay. Well, this part is the part that frustrated me until you, I did 25 you of did them. A couple more than I've done. Yeah. yeah, you've got it. You're doing great, Anna. Thank you, guys. I'll push her up there. I'm trying. There you we go. It, you got it. Look how cute. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, well, Terry said, let Anna know that ATG gun is sold out. I'm on the waiting list. <gasps> so wait a minute. Oh, so I can auction mine off is we, what you're saying. <laughs> we oh had God. a conversation <laughs> about our ATG tape uh -huh. that we didn't like it. I no. went to order some for my craft room last night because I'm almost out. They don't have, they're out of stock on the quarter inch um, with the red label. Oh, uh, well, don't buy the other ones, guys. You no, hear it it's here not first. my favorite. Go okay. Get it. So now that we're finished with that, um, we can go ahead and put, I'm not going to take these off because I have these two left, but I just wanted to make these for you all. Um, one thing that I didn't mention earlier, this, the printable vinyl set, ting, um, makes us a kiss cut, which just means it's like a sticker sheet and you pull it off. If you wanted to make a sticker, I don't know why you would want to do this necessarily with this project, but if you wanted to make these so that it cut all the way through, then use the craft board setting and it will cut all the way through so that you have like a sticker that you would buy at the store or something like that. Um, but what we're going to do is just go ahead and take these right here and put them in the top left hand corner of our boxes, just like this. Where, where's the sticker going in relation to the lid again? So it will open the lid. It opens like this. Okay. So okay, it's in okay. the top left-hand corner. Yeah. Good question. Oh, we lost a box. There we got that. And then now, Anna is going to teach us how to make some pom-poms um, using yarn. I think pom-pom making is very relaxing. What Did do you, you have a uh, color thing? The orange. Both of them need to be orange. Oh, look at you being prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Becca is nothing if not prepared. <laughs> uh, Rachel, where did Becca get the box cut file? I made the cut file, Miss Crystal. However, on Friday, if you purchase um, our course that we're launching, then this is one of the files that I will share in the private Facebook group. All of the files that we've used upcoming um, will be shared in there. And then the files that um, we'll be using after that will be there. Until we have our membership up and running, um, I'll be sharing files in there. Okay, so to make this pom-pom, Becca told me that we are doing three fingered ones. What is that the equivalent of? Would you say like two and a like half inches? Two and a half inches, something like that. And so two what and I'm going to do is just start right like that. We're going to go 30 times around. Are you going to count out loud? What? Twelve? Is that annoying? <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I, just... have a, I have a public service announcement from Doug Myers. Hi, Dougie. What? He says, I'm a righty also. Because they're talking in the comments about being a righty and a lefty. Yeah. Um, and Dougie says, so I'm a righty as well, but I prefer to use a lefty circular saw because I can control it better. He's weird. You heard it here first. Okay, so this is also you funny. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. I'm, I am right-handed, and you I'm guys don't know about it. how, how much dominance has to do with things with your eyes. I'm right-handed but left eye dominant. So I shoot with my uh, left hand, play pool with my left hand. I play sports with my left hand, things like that. So check, check your eye dominance, too. That has a lot to do with your coordination. So she cut off after 30 wraps, and then now she's just taking a long piece of yarn – uh, I don't, why am I narrating this? You tell him what you're doing. <laughs> Anna's like, hurry up. Okay, me. so fun fact, Becca narrated probably the first 18 years of my life because I wouldn't talk to anyone. And so I think that it's just second nature for her because she would order my food, answer phone calls, all that kind of stuff. So love her heart. So she took a long piece of yarn and she's <laughs> wrapping it around and knotting it tightly. And she's going to make sure that she leaves good long tails because we're going to use the, not that long, oh. maybe like four inches. We're going to use those tails to uh, tie it. Wow. That's not four inches. Uh, you know what? You can always cut off extra. Um, I don't like question, to have to go back and knot something. When are we getting access to the group? I heard, or did you answer that already? No, and also, can you share anything about the course Linda wants to know? So we're getting a lot of questions about yeah. that. A lot of people want to be the first to buy, which there can only be one. But 
I really, love all your enthusiasm. Yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, so the group will be available to anyone who purchases the course. Um, our Black Friday special is that you get six months. Go ahead and finish that. Do I need to tell them what I'm doing? She's clipping the loops so that it will fray. Um, be sure not to clip that guy. That's true. <laughs> uh, the where was I? The course will be or the group will be available to anyone who purchases the course. It's six months of group access available for free if you purchase the course um, through our Black Friday special. After that six months, we are planning to have our membership up and running. And so the only way at that point, once the membership is available, the only way to have access to the group um, is by purchasing the membership. So uh, fantastic. Um, course is so exciting. It's super exciting. It's a mini course because we wanted to make it super affordable for everyone. We want everyone to be able to purchase it and be involved in the Oak and Lamb Flock. Um, the course is called Crafting with a Flock. And uh, we loved the sense of community that that title gave you because we want it to feel like you're not doing it alone because you're not. That's the benefit of being a part of Oak and Lamb. Um, and so it is four videos. It is top trending projects for 2021. One is sublimation. Actually, one is sewing, sublimation, and printable iron-on. Um, so it's a craft smock that we make. Rachel, are you trying to say something? No, I, I, it's just so much in one video. Listen, and yeah. Becca did two videos, and the project ends up amazing. Becca, we have so many people saying, take my money. Can we just sign up tonight? I don't <laughs> I think I can wait. You guys are so I love amazing. this. I love it. But, no, keep going back. I'm sorry. No, I'm it's fine. I'm just impressed with how much you were able to squeeze into one video. <laughs> it was a lot. Um, and then the another one that I did was a UV resin pen, which I think somewhere I have it. Um, and I use alcohol ink with it. So that's super exciting. Here it is. Um, I mean, look, it has like a watercolor effect. Cute. Look, did I show you that I finished it? Yeah, oh my God. That's my kiddo's handwriting. Um, oh. and so I teach you how to do that too. Like take the handwriting, take someone's handwriting and create that. And then Anna teaches an amazing woodworking course that is a wood riser that you can use for decor or for lateral storage. And then Miss Rachel teaches a super fun 3D explosion box um, paper crafting project. So and I was quite impressed by that because I am not a paper crafter and I was like, whoa. Also, yeah. also how did I you think do that? I think it, it speaks volumes. The longest video in the course is the paper project. I'm just going to lay that down. Or it just says it's you're long-winded. It's because you're long-winded. Ouch. <laughs> but Anna, can you come pull this knife out of my back really quick? Uh, Did she put it I'll there be right over not? there. What? I would never do that to Excuse Rachel. Excuse me? Thank you, Anna. You're welcome. Anyway, it speaks volumes. I, it, it speaks volumes on how this is not a typical paper project. This is not one that you can do in five minutes. No. This will teach you a lot of tips and tricks and techniques to be able to use on a ton of other projects. And it was really fun to make. It was a labor of love. I keep saying that, and it was, but it's really cute. But, yeah, I still have this knife in my back if anybody wants to come get it out. I'll get it out later. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, so, also with the course, you get a – um, supply list, a full supply list with all of our links, which I'm going to be 100% honest, friends. Um, we like to do supply lists because, well, for one, it makes you all super prepared and have everything that you need. And two, we get a little bit of kickback because they're affiliate links. However, <laughs> Amazon does not love us right now. Um, and you guys have been super amazing, like clicking all of the links and helping support us through our Amazon links, but it's on YouTube and Amazon can't figure out how all of the foot traffic is coming because our website is not active. They don't realize it's all coming from YouTube, even though we've said it. And so they've like revoked our access to our affiliate account. It's even a mess. though we've asked them nicely. If y'all have any strings you, know. you can pull with Amazon, and I'll give you the I'll give you the first course for free. And, like, <laughs> and also, we have to say, I think honestly, one of the biggest perks next to getting a little kickback at no cost to you all is that the links the the links that we could give you were itty bitty. These links, tiny, yeah, are gigantic. Yeah. I can't even fit them in the descriptions. I meant to tell Becca that. So I, we could do a Bitly account or Bitly links. We could make Bitly, but if the, if they're not things we use often we don't need to waste our bitly that's a I know. You know, discussion yeah. for another time yeah but no you're right 
but they're just so long and annoying. They, they're not very yes. visually pleasing. So we're sorry. Anyway, um, so you get that. You get the supply list. And then also the files. There are a few files that we use um, that you'll be getting. One of them is the Oak and Lamb logo. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Back to our project. Now what we're going to do is take our yarn here. Did you? Oh, let, let's talk about this really quick. So don't talk, don't chew it too fast. Where's the other piece, Anna? <laughs> Here, I'll work on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so it, I like how these sort of just look kind of random. They're not perfect. If you wanted them to be perfect and smaller and more dense, then one, you could do more wraps of yarn. And two, you can just trim it down to make it more dense. But I liked it. Uh, kind of free flowing like that. Um, okay, now I'm gonna take this piece of string or yarn and I want to wrap it like I would a present with yarn or with ribbon, just like this. And I'm going to knot this, just a simple knot, do not cut that. <laughs> this. And then I'm gonna take this pom pom and tie it around here under both pieces of yarn, just like this. Again, we will knot this. It's just a really crude knot. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't have to be pretty because you're not going to see it. Trim these pieces off about the same length as the pom-pom. And then you have this, and now we can cut that so we, we can hang it. That's adorable. So now we're going to do this one the exact same way. You want to do it? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Just, very sure of herself there. Just like this. I'll let you put this pom-pom on. I feel like we could have just tied another knot had there been an accident with cutting. Where Was there an accident? No, I'm saying oh, if I had oh, proceeded with that she action. Was totally cutting my... <laughs> Whatever. Becky says... Amazon will not let me write reviews anymore because I buy so much stuff and do so many reviews. They think I go against their rules. That's ridiculous. Becky, I listen. got put in Facebook Marketplace jail for the rest of Forever. my life. Forever. She's one time. always banned what? from. Yes. Like, and I appealed it so many times that they took my appeal button away. And oh do you want to know what it was for? What? A selfless act of posting my sister's stuff for sale when she moved. That's true. And wow. I said. I made some good money it's on those It's not like clothes. I'm trying to like sell <laughs> drugs or solicit or anything. You know, it was, wasn't, wasn't merited very much. So I created a fake Facebook account. Okay. <laughs> now we have our doll rod here and Anna's going to show us how she would put all of these on here. What? <laughs> do you want me to do it? I, I, I feel like this is a test. <laughs> do you remember what it's supposed to look like? Vaguely. So my thing is, is Becca... Becca and Do I it have, random. Th I know that's exactly what you were gonna say, and I wanted mine all to be color. No, and they're not supposed to be in order. Not like one through twenty-five. They're supposed to be random. So maybe you should just do it. No, go. <laughs> um, that's why I think we need a bigger dowel rod. We don't need oh a bigger gosh, dowel rod. Oh my gosh, I thought she was gonna hit you with that. I thought she oh was too. God. We're gonna get whopped. Oh, speaking of being whopped in the head. Why don't you show me how you'd want, <laughs> want oh, me to do it? Anna, oh my <laughs> god! Well, Becca's just, like, if she's envisioned something, I'm afraid I'm going to screw it up for. No, okay. Um, this morning, my shoe closet, I have shoes, like, eye level, and then some that are, like, above my head that I can barely reach. I, I, every time I reach for them, I'm like, Rachel can reach this. But oh. I can't, yeah. Anyway, shoe came down and hit me right in the bridge of the nose, right where those needle nose no, pliers hit me. Becky yes. Just um, anyway, Anna, you're doing a splendid job. I feel like this is going to be a disaster. No, it's not. not. With, the, with that attitude, it will be. <laughs> okay. Wait, Thank are you cutting you. them at different lengths? I'm going to. Don't you worry. What? Don't you worry. Because they Becca. need to be different lengths. Because there's 25 of them, so they'll be like. Sta staggered. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who? Okay, this is a good question. Okay. Uh, Terry says, who is older, Becca or Anna? Who do you think is older? Who looks older? Oh my God. Mom! Mom! Delete your Delete We're comment. blocking you, Jan. Delete. Delete. Jan. You got deleted. Takes all the fun out of everything. Deleted. <laughs> so, oh my 
my gosh. Did you delete it really for real? Yes. Did you? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, you deleted it. <laughs> Jane. She's going to get put in YouTube prison. You're kidding me. No, no, because it she's be a family trait. <laughs> she's, she's not getting put in YouTube prison because she ups our view count. <laughs> thanks, oh, thanks, my Mom. gosh. Harry said Becca. Is, is older or looks older? Christy said Anna. <laughs> um, Becca. So a lot of people think, uh, well, a lot of people think I'm older because I got married so young. We were wee babes. I was 19. Um, and then I had kids. And so I think people just associated that. Like, I don't know. But Anna's actually a minute older than me. One minute 60 older. whole stinking 60 seconds. seconds. I knew Anna was the but old woman in the pair of We years. all know that if Becca hadn't been coming butt first, that she probably would have been the oldest. I had to... Oh, mom Becca, have, were you breached? Yeah, mom had yeah. to have a C-section. Because of She's you, it was been your a, fault. It was a my pain fault. from the get-go. Actually, it really, you know. Kat, I did mm-hmm. censor my mother. I'll apologize later. <laughs> I'll apologize later. No, I think the percentage of being able to have twins naturally is like 2%. It's it's not very high. Although, for in this particular instance, we can blame Becca. But Becca, how dare you try to come out butt first? <laughs> how dare you? My mom carried us to eight months. We Which were is, large babies. Yeah, we were six one and six two. I mean, those are my kids. My kids who were full term. Fallon was six. You're telling me Beckett Oaks was full term. Yes. He was thirty eight and a half weeks. That little bitty monkey came out. He was so cute. He was full term in that little four pounds fourteen ounces. Thirty eight and a half term? weeks. His biological mother was losing weight, so they, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought he was a preemie this entire time. No. Because I know how much he weighed. I knew it was in the four itty pounds. Bitty. I mean, he cooked the whole time? Yeah. Wow. Just an yeah. itty-bitty yummy baby. Heather, I've been in trouble with my mom my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's true. Although, I wasn't a bad kid. I was to say. I was not a bad child. Um, Becca, what, what has been your favorite job? Other than this one, of course. Like, growing up, what was your favorite job? Like, working like to job? work? Yeah. Oh, goodies. That's fantastic. Other than this? Yeah. I mean, Maker's going to learn, I guess. We're growing up. Well, what, I didn't have jobs growing, growing up. up. Yes, you You managed a movie theater when you were like 16. No, no she I was, was 18. 18. We didn't work until we were in college. So we right. nannied. Oh. I see. Okay. Yeah, my very, very, very first job, I nannied for my nieces. Really? Who were they not were, your nieces at the time? They were not my nieces at the time. They're Wayne's nieces, um, and Wayne's 10 years older than me, and his sister is 10 years older than him. So she had children um, that weren't too much younger than me. Uh, and so I nannied them, and I loved that. That was a fun job. And then I went from that to um, I worked at the pre-med office at East Tennessee State University and at the movie theater at the same time while I was same going to time. school. Yeah. Um, she got me into all the free movies, all the free popcorn. I hated that job. That's hated it with fantastic a passion. Because it was nights and weekends. It had to yeah. be up till midnight every yeah. night. And I am not a night owl. She came home and the bottoms of her pants were all butter grease today. Disgusting. She smelled nasty. It's disgusting. Oh, then I went from that to goodies. That was fantastic. That was, I, I don't hate that. Like I like I like ringing people up. I can still merch. say the closing statement yeah. though. Yeah, Anna I worked there with Anna. That um that was mine and Anna's first job together. And then I worked, I did marketing at a physical therapy rehab place for five years. Um, and Anna worked there as a PT tech. So we worked there together. And then we went to... Um, I went to beauty school. Anna went to beauty school because she got fired. Uh, unjustly. Oh unjustly. It, it was unjust. unjustly. It was unjust. I walked in there that day and... and got a freaking raise and out of it up with for a crying out yeah. loud. Um... Anyway, so when she was at beauty school, I was still there, and then she went to Sheer Structure, and I started working there, and then managed that place for eight years. Anna, you were there for 10 years? Uh Uh-huh. Nine years? Nine and a half. Nine years. And then, uh, so we worked a long time together, and then when I went to Makers and to Learn, Anna went to a salon, and then now we're working together again. But I have been derailed as the favorite, so... I don't thanks, think you were ever my that. favorite. <laughs> you, you said I was fantastic till Rachel came along and you saw 
bigger and brighter <laughs> things in your future. <laughs> she makes me candy for con. I uh, did, yeah. I mean, again, are you wanting you one have of us my to like face for crying out loud? Also, if I happen to dirty a dish, she's like, "Can I take that for you?" I would never do that. <laughs> There's a lot of perks to to picking me as the favorite, Anna. You'll come to know that soon. Now, Rachel, I got to ask you a question. She also yeah. helped if me through mental health issues. So there's that. Been Becca's twin, and you shared the same room yeah. for your whole life. Uh -huh. Would you have gotten up to turn the light off every night? What? What's the question? Okay. Oh. So, interestingly <laughs> enough, Beck and I, Mom and Dad, when they built the house, um, there was a master bedroom upstairs, and then they built a second one downstairs once they started having so many babies. And so we had this decently large room upstairs, uh -huh. and half of it, when we would get mad at each other, would be mine, and half would be hers. Okay. Um, and so we couldn't cross lines of the room. Okay, yes, yes. So, I needed this backstory for yes, sure. Yes, okay. So then if both of us were in bed like playing whatever and didn't want to get up, we were so stubborn that we would sleep with the lights on sometimes. But so... <laughs> Time. I'm so disappointed right now. I know, now. I know. One no time idea. it gets better. No, not one time. We did this for a while. Yeah, so we decided that we were going to attach a piece of yarn oh to, the light to the light oh switch. God. But it kept coming off, and so didn't we have to, like, tape it on there or yeah, something? But we could we could pull it while fantastic. we were in bed. Yeah, yeah. It, it was... It was inventive, that's for sure. But it was Anna, lazy, slightly Anna's lazy. afraid of the dark. And I so, was. And, and she used to get mad at me for sleeping with Vicks Vapor Rub under my nose all the time. Every night she had She's Vicks Vapor Rub. It smells so bad. I was like, it's either that or me snoring, buddy. This, this <laughs> is the, uh, wow. That's how I'm we pretty, both started I'm sleeping with I'm, I bet a they're so fan. happy that this is taking so long because uh, they're getting some amazing stories. I do apologize. Stories. I'm tying just as fast as my hands will tie. She's just, can you, can, I do can you kind of give them your method for your madness here? The tunnels from years of. Are you just randomly different lengths? Yes, different, and you know that's completely not who I I'm am. I'm actually kind of proud of how it's going. I, I know. I know, Becca. And it's probably killing Anna it's inside. It's crushing my soul a little bit. <laughs> But it looks so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, um, I love these people in the comments talking about their jobs that they've had. Yes. Aaliyah, what have some of theirs been? Aaliyah said, the smell of Subway bread is triggering. It was so badly stuck ah. in your clothes. Aaliyah, my husband worked at Subway years ago, and he would he would come home, and I would actually quite enjoy the subway bread smell. I do love the subway bread smell. I he was like, oh man, I got a shower, and I'm like, that's fine, but can you like sit next to me for just a few minutes so I can just smell that? Because honestly, that's why you married him. That that's it. Sheer structure. Uh -huh. The salon that Andy and I worked at was in the mall that had so, a subway, yeah, subway yeah. and we would smell it all the way into the salon. Oh, I we like ate more the smell subway, of that subway bread. I haven't eaten subway. I've eaten it one time since I quit there. I, I can't have it that here. I'm pregnant. I can't. Why? Eat, uh, lunch meat unless oh. it's like nuked or something. Something about they're worried about listeria and stuff, bacteria. I get it. Just get you a veggie one. Anna has not no had carpal tunnel all. surgery, but she probably should. Yeah. Listen, being a cosmetologist, doing hair, that that's some rough stuff on your body. The back stuff is what's super rough. Yeah. I used to strip down outside and put my uniform in the trunk of my car. Same with the movie theater. Oh, my gosh. And, and when I first started there, um, I had to wear a white shirt with black pants and a vest. And that white shirt, like, it was white the first day. Then you just got greasy, yucky butter all over it. Then I became a staff leader, so I got to wear, like, a black suit, and it didn't matter anymore. You couldn't see it anymore. <laughs> it was black, terrible. The black, when, once you cross that, you know. Didn't yeah. you have, like, black and gray Nike shoes that had some orange on there that you would wear all the time? Yeah, I wasn't supposed to, but I did. They're, like, pat patent leather black. Yeah, well, my YouTube first day, orange. I don't wear heels. And my first day, I don't know why I did it. I bought, like, these three-inch platform shoes. <laughs> It was so stupid. I wore them one time. I think I ended up giving them to my mother. Um, they were cute, but I don't know what I was thinking. We all have big feet here, too, guys. Yes. Like, yeah. we all could, every one of us could all share shoes. <clears throat> we Anna, all have will you come feet. to Miss Terry's house and help her make this? Sure will. 
Except that Terry, I thought you were coming here to get the knife out of my back. You, she can just teach you. <laughs> at while the you're same here. time, all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No need for. She some says it looks trips. beautiful, Anna. Where's Miss Terry from? Have I been to the state before? She said before? she'll be here in about ten hours. So I. Uh, oh, where is she from? I don't know. It's Terry? quite a stretch, but she's coming all the way here just to get the knife out of my back. <laughs> That's a friend, uh, right? Uh, I mean, she like the yeah. cookie company Robin. Oh my gosh, Ooh, I would oh gain a crud gosh. ton of weight if I worked there. But that is like. So, uh, are you like a professional cookie cake designer? Oh, I need to show him Beckett's oh. cookie oh my cake. Gosh, yes. Where's my phone? That's the best thing that's ever happened Becca, to our family. You have to give him the backstory first. Give him the backstory. Okay. I'm gonna so, flip it to you. They've seen this plenty. Yeah. So <laughs> we. Um, <laughs> We went camping for Beckett's birthday, and there's a cookie company place up there. And um, I, he that's that's his favorite thing for he doesn't like cake, but he likes cookie cake. So we call at like I don't know 10:45 10. or 11 o'clock to order his cake for that day. And because of COVID, like they weren't coming in until four o'clock or something. But somebody answered the phone, and he and my husband was like. Oh man, we were really hoping to get it before that, but that's okay. And the kid said he's like 16 years old. He's like, well, I mean, I can try. It probably won't look good, but I can try. And Wayne was like, you know what? Give it your all, man. Give it your all. Your, be your best shot. So he tells him he. We wanted it to. We wanted a orange cat, an orange cat because like Beckett. A small had, seat. Yeah, Beckett had just gotten a cat a month before. Mom. And we wanted it to say Happy Birthday, Bex or Beckett. I can't remember. Beckett. So we got to pick it up. We go to pick it up, and uh, Wayne walks in, <laughs> and there's some lady at the front, and she, he was like, "Yeah, I'm here to pick up Oaks. I'm here to pick up the cake." And they were like, "Oh, oh!" So no. they didn't even say anything. They go to get the kid, and he's bringing it out. He was like, "Man, I'm sorry." <laughs> and it ends up like discounting it 50. percent Well, I, we would have paid full price because he did what we asked him to do. Yeah. Like, we did not care. Listen, and and and. I, we have to say there are some people out there that would not have accepted it. Like, you know, just some people, they made this cake for the perfect family. Wayne brings it out and opens it up. <laughs> and I start hee-haw laughing. Beckett's like, it's the most beautiful cake in the whole yeah, world. Yeah, Beckett was floored. Somewhere there is a picture. And Here I it said, is. you know, the only thing I'm disappointed in is the amount of icing or the lack of icing. Okay. I'm going to send it to myself so that I can pull it up here so that we can screen share. On the, hold on just a on second. On the third camera? Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to plug it back in, though. Yeah. I also have to find my... <laughs> Okay. Man, that sounds amazing. Yes, it's so good. I, I remember the picture because Be Becca, I think, was on a weekend or something, so I didn't talk to her for a couple of days. And she came in, and I was like, "How was Becca's birthday?" To the point, you know, was everything good? And she was like, "Rachel, I have to tell look at, you." Look at this. We oh, can't see it. I know. I can't until we see it. Okay, here we go. You ready, guys? <laughs> it's the <laughs> best. <laughs> I forgot. The best. Becca, what about what's with the time? I don't know. <laughs> 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 that kid i'm telling you he just he made our entire weekend it was the best it was so sweet of him. the lettering listen he did happy b day because he probably started b for a birthday and was, was like, like that's, that's never that's gonna fit not gonna work. <laughs> anyway are you almost done i yeah Oh my gosh, there are 25 of here. these things. I'm telling you, these ladies are troopers for sitting here for this whole time. Um, how long, approximately, Miss Marisa wants to know, is going to be our live stream on Friday? That's a great question. So it's going to start at 4 p.m. Eastern, and we're thinking three to four hours. We have four segments, and we're thinking that um, two are going to be 30 minutes and then two are going to be an hour and then of course we'll chat and get, do some giveaways and things like that so uh, between three and four hours great question he did try so hard you're absolutely right I mean I loved it I loved it um hi Tam uh so what are your thoughts Anna do you love this project? I love, I love I can't wait to see order it. and I love wow. patterns. I'm going to, do you want me to tie a string to it to hang it? Yes. Well. Yes. Traditionally, I would probably drill a hole in it. Should we drill a hole or just tie it? Just go for it. Heather Which? says, you all are my sanity. 
That's so sweet. Heather. My mother probably thinks opposite. <laughs> she she lives for us. <laughs> it's an awkward silence. <laughs> or I was mom, comments. mom, get on there and say we're not. <laughs> You're our pride and joy. <laughs> yeah, she could say you two are my favorite on this. Yeah, right. We all know that's not the truth. <laughs> okay, how many? Tell them this too. How many siblings do you all have? Two. There two. are two older brothers. Yep. Fred, the golden child, is seven years older than us, and then Ben is five years older than us. I love that she said Fred, the golden child. Wow. Well, Becky said, truth. so what do you put in the boxes? Becky, that is... Beef jerky. Beef jerky, Beef jerky apparently. Beef jerky. <laughs> Beef jerky. Um, anything. You can put anything in it. In Candy, it. Um, you can put in scripture verses if you do like that. Um, I really love the idea of reading a scripture verse leading up to Christmas if you... That's great. Or candy or, and a scripture verse. Or both, yes. You could go to the Dollar Tree and get some little knickknack. Fun things Just random things, yeah. And we dun, dun, ta, da. Yeah, Anna's going to lift it up so that you all can see. Oh, Lord Jesus. That's so freaking It's freaking adorable. Cute. It's adorable. Oh, I love it. So if once you hang it, what I would do, um, once it's stationary, is just flip these around so that you can see, see the numbers on them um, all facing you out. Jan declared her golden child. She said it's Wayne. Wayne is the golden child. Oh, my child. gosh. That's the yes, truth. Yes, that <laughs> is true. That's true. That's so stinking cute. I love it. Oh, Listen, my gosh. Listen, don't open your windows with this guy in the room. It's going to be a disaster if the wind blows it. Why? It's going to get all tied in. Not off. if they're oh. full filled with something. Yeah, it'll weigh it down. It'll if you're weigh putting it. scriptures in there. Heavy it's scriptures. candy. We decided that it's heavy scriptures. The long ones. <laughs> heavy scriptures. Chapters. They were written in stone. <laughs> Wayne said amen to Jan. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Anna, I love that you're getting all of the credit for this project. <laughs> no, thanks, guys. <laughs> Anna slaved over this. Anyway, friends, you all have been troopers to stay here for an hour and 15 minutes while we oh my gosh. gave you an obnoxious amount of real-life stories from our childhood. Um, what else were we to do? Yeah, but... <laughs> Look, she's finished. I'm sorry it took me 37 years to tie could you these imagine? Boxes. Could you imagine if I had <laughs> made all these on the line? We would have had Anna an said, calendar of three. <laughs> Anna said, you're only going to do two? I'm like, mm, yeah. It's going to, yeah. We got it. We, we This isn't our first rodeo. Anyway. <laughs> Friends, I hope to see you all on Friday, um, day after tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern for our Black Friday event. Please be here. We're so excited to craft with you, to do some giveaways, to laugh, um, and to launch our fun course. I know you all are very patiently waiting for that, so thank you for that. Uh, I hope you have a super fantastic, amazing Thanksgiving. Becky, we are um, praying for you and your family. Yes. We'll be thinking about you um, through this holiday season. I know it will be very difficult. Yeah. If you guys have some a spare few minutes while your turkey is cooking or while you're waiting on something to whip in that KitchenAid mixer, watch the video tomorrow that we're going to be posting at 10 a.m. Eastern. I'm yes. going to post a little early just because it's turkey day. Yeah. And everybody's going to be um, hopefully having a little bit of free time. So please watch, watch it with your family because it'll be a funny one too. It will be. Anyway, thank you all so much. Have a fantastic evening. Thank you guys.